Coco One Love here. Shout out to CrossFit Tempo, Musket Oman. Thank you guys for the hospitality while I was there. Today we're talking about the push-up. It's going to be the fourth exercise in the extension of our strength series. In our previous video, we talked about the high plank. Now, I wanted you guys to practice the high plank and understand how to get in that position and fully integrate your body in that position. Because the high plank is the position that we carry through the push-up movement. Also, in the high plank video, we introduced this concept of um, rotational force in the shoulder or shoulder torque. And what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to stabilize uh, the shoulder joint and create more power output. Uh, we're going to initiate our push-up movement with this rotational force as we descend to the lower part of the push-up. What that's going to allow us to do is not only to stabilize the shoulder joint, but it's going to allow us to utilize the pectoral muscle as the primary mover in that movement. And you're also going to see that your elbows are going to come closer into your side. A lot of the times you see people pushing up with their um, elbow flared out away from their body. What that ends up doing is it ends up putting a lot of force on your shoulder. Your shoulder is utilized as the primary mover. The shoulder muscles are used as primary movers. And that just creates inefficient movement. And whenever we move, we want to create the most efficient way to move. And that allows us to create the most power. So we end up um, getting more bang for our buck. Okay. What I also want to start talking about is from this bottom position, what we want to uh, kind of cue is that we're spreading our hands apart as we come up to the top portion of the push-up. We're not going to be um, physically moving our hands. We're just going to be cueing that. And what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to evenly distribute the force output that we create as we come up. What that does, actually, those two cues of rotational force on the descent and then spreading your hands on uh, the part of coming up from the bottom uh, is actually going to be a skill transfer into our bench press. So when you're bench pressing, what we're going to do is we're going to break the bar as we come down to the bottom portion and then spread the bar as we come up to the top portion. So what I want you guys to start noticing is that all the videos are kind of a progression. Uh, the high plank is kind of a precursor to the push-up. The skills that we learn in the push-up are going to transfer into the bench press when we talk about that in the future. Now, since we're talking about the push-up today, let's talk about the push-up. So we're going to get down on all fours and set up for it just like we did with the high plank. So we want to make sure that we have our wrist stacked underneath our shoulder joint. We're going to step out and extend our legs. Feet are going to be together. We're going to squeeze our heels together. That's going to ignite our glutes. We're going to make sure our abdomen is tight. That's going to neutralize our spine. We're going to pull our shoulders down. That's going to set the shoulders. And then we're going to create this rotational force as we descend down into the lower portion of the push-up. And as we come up, we're going to spread rotational torque, spread, break the bar, spread the bar, rip the earth in between our hands, spread the earth in between our hands. And if you notice, my spine stays the same. I stay in that same high plank position. As I come up, that position stays the same. I do not let my lower lumbar spine dip and my chest come up first. That's going to break the rules of trunk stability. We want to always prioritize the spine and then allow one joint to create the movement. Okay. Uh, what I also want to point out is if you have that issue of the break in the lumbar spine, your lumbar spine is dipping, your chest is coming up first, 
what you want to do is you want to kind of progress down to the ground. So you would kind of pick something like this and go about performing your push-up. Okay? And truly understanding what it is to keep the spine nice and neutral as you go through that movement. We never want to see people put their knees down and then go through the, try to try to understand the mechanics of the push-up or try to learn the push-up that way because what that ends up doing is we don't understand how to engage and set our pelvis so therefore we can't really maintain a neutral spine okay so the, pro the, the progression to the ground would be picking something a little bit higher maybe a bar maybe a stool maybe something like this if you got it around uh, maybe um, a countertop until you can slowly work your way down to the ground. Anyway, the push-up, fourth exercise in the extension of our string series. Coco One Love, much love baby. Do good, like us, love us, subscribe, and share us with the world. One love baby, conquer and lion. Peace out. Positive vibrations.